Jewelry is often referred to as wearable art, and the jewelry we have today is art, but it's so much more. It's history, it's culture, it's spiritual, and it's respectful of nature, and it is the jewelry designed by Carolyn Tyler. Welcome to the studio, Carolyn. Thank you so much. So when we spoke last, we talked about the Asian spiritual influence of a lot of your jewelry, but I've learned subsequently that you really draw on ancient cultures as well for your jewelry inspiration. Yes, yes. Um, I studied anthropology in college and it's been a passion of mine. Egyptian, Roman, Greek, Indian, Asian, all native cultures too. Some of my things are quite tribal. Your jewelry is so spectacular. Sometimes it's hard to know where to start, but my eyes were really drawn to these opals. And yeah. when I the first when I saw them, I said, those opals are so incredibly blue. My favorite stone. Yeah, the blue opals are really the mines have run out in Australia. So this lavender color opal is really hard to come by unless I find somebody who's had a stash, you know, and they're, they're yes. pulling it out from 30 years ago. And that happens when I do the shows in Tucson. Well, this necklace you have here, it's, it's kind of a fishnet. It's sort of exactly. gathered a That's number. Exactly. That's the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Well, good. And yeah. it, it seems to have a, a bracelet that sort of carries on that theme yes. as well. Yes, yes. I designed the first one of these for Kurt Russell to give to Goldie Hawn on New Year's 1999. Amazing. Did you use opals in that no, one as well? No, I used pearl and moonstone. She loves pearl and moonstone. So hers was uh, the first one in that material. And I wasn't going to make another one because I designed it. It, right. for her specifically but it was so beautiful I said do you mind if I do this again oh no she's so nice she said go ahead whatever you want you could copy it exactly so well, I've done some it of the other material. items you have here you use some really amazing materials to put these items together yeah in my travels I've collected um, things that just catch my eye there's an antelope uh, horn the white bracelet, Is this one right, yeah, the right cuff here? in the yes. front, that's antelope horn that I got in Namibia when I was on a photo safari there and doing some archaeology too. And um, the black coral comes from Indonesia and it just washes up on the beach and when we heat it we can turn it into a bracelet shape, it becomes malleable. And this one's in the design of a snake. Yes, I have very talented carvers in Bali and they carve uh, you know, they carve the stone and they carve this coral into three or four serpents with ruby eyes. And I've set opal in there too. And then I've got a, a ray skin. It's called shagreen. They used it a lot for cigarette cases in the 20s and 30s. So this bracelet here, I don't know if you can zoom in on that one, that's got opals and uh, ray skin, shark skin. And this one right here has yeah. the ray skin and the opals on it. Now this one also, you Tahitian can't miss it. Pearls. Tahitian pearls. But tell us also about oh, the diamonds. right. I was mentioning that earlier. Yes. Um, they have brown diamonds in Borneo, which is a huge island just above Bali. It's yes. very exotic sounding. And I was actually standing in mud up to my knees panning for these diamonds like like one pans for gold and then you get these brown of champagne colored or cognac colored diamonds out and they'll cut them right there so i got these about 25 years ago those and it looks fabulous with the pearls as well so you're at carrots today yes carrots next to latour across from solaris just steps from solaris in and this is your last day. This is my last day, yes. And, and this, this is not the only kind of thing I have. We have tiny little rings that stack, and we have things for men. I have silver down That's there, right. too. That's right. You have some beautiful silver as well. Yes. But I brought the big, big guns today. Well, thank you for joining <laughs> us in the studio, and thank you so much for coming to Vail. I hope you enjoyed your week here. Thank you. I did so much. I always love coming here. Thank you very much. Safe travels and a happy 2018. Thanks. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Stay tuned. We've got more Good Morning Vail coming your way.